Welcome back. We have the incredibly talented Josh Gad here with us this morning. He dazzled us as Le Fou in the live action version of Beauty and the Beast. And then, of course, everyone's favorite snowman in Frozen and now Frozen 2. Well, now he's heading to space in the new series Avenue 5, playing Herman Judd, an eccentric billionaire who creates a fleet of luxury space cruise ships. Uh, but as you might imagine, the journey uh, doesn't go as planned. Uh, good to see you, buddy. Thanks for coming back. Hi, you too. You, you described this new show as Act 3 of the Titanic? Yes. I mean, it, it literally starts off in Act 3 of the Titanic, uh -huh. and then things go from from bad to worse to unthinkable uh, <laughs> fairly quickly. By the way, I love the way you said le fou. Okay. Le fou. It was like the most beautiful Can I tell you why? French. Because, like as soon as I saw the word in the teleprompter, my heart did this. <laughs> I'm like, oh, le fou. I'm going to try to sound Frenchish. Le fou. Yeah, and le then, fou. And then I look over my peripheral and I'm like, he didn't move, so maybe that's so right. There you go. It's like the way I speak Spanish. I never knew. <laughs> yeah. I never knew his name. Like, yeah. that's the thing. Mm -hmm. I could sing that whole musical and never yeah, knew the name. Fou. Anyway. Wow. Okay. You know what I think, though? It's what? funny. When I first heard about this concept, I feel like eventually it's going to be a thing. Space travel. Oh, now, hopefully it, it doesn't go to the left like in your I, series. I think it's already a thing, isn't it? Thing. I mean, you yes. have people like Richard Branson. You yeah. have people like Elon Musk who are out there trying to get uh, space tourism going. And, and what's so brilliant about the series created by Armando Iannucci, who, as we all know, created Veep, yeah. and one of my favorite satires of the last decade, Death of Stalin, the show itself is about the breakdown of society in a bubble. What happens mm. when all of the things that are supposed to be social norms start getting stripped away? Mm. and you're left with a hierarchy that essentially has no power, mm. a captain who has no control, and you're stuck on a ship that was supposed to be on a journey for a few weeks, and it's now potentially a matter of years. Oh, wow. So you would, you, would you do space travel? Would you go out? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no. 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 Like, not even consider? Would you do space travel? I, I, I think no, I might. Would. What? Yeah, he would. He would. I, I, bet I think would. I would. Oh, maybe. No. Maybe. Yeah. Here's the thing is, I like to live. I yeah. like. Yeah. I like being alive. Right. And I've seen enough movies and enough documentaries when things about go wrong. things that explode <laughs> up in outer yeah. space. Yeah. And what I like is to be on Earth yes. and be safe. <laughs> and everything stay within active. your body. I won't even go on a cruise. Neither Not will either. I. Hey, I by the way, my, I've got a, a three-year-old daughter. We were one of the you know 180 million people that went to see Frozen 2. 181.5. <laughs> The highest grossing animated film in the history of animated films, by Wait, the way. Wait, has two. it reached that? Frozen oh, yeah. Frozen yeah. 2. Yeah. Frozen 2. No Frozen animated two. movie has made more money. My favorite part was, was Olaf. I felt like his role in Frozen 2 was heightened. I felt like we got more Olaf in Frozen 2 than we did in Frozen 1. I was very happy about that. I'm so happy you were happy. <laughs> we did it. We, we had a, an internal discussion about what would please you. Yes. <laughs> In particular, you know, we do that every morning. Sequel, and we were like, you know, the thing that we're going to have to But this to is achieve. what I don't understand. When does Olaf get his own. Right! Yes. It's a no brainer. His yes. own spill, all, his own spin all off. Yes! yes. Uh, you oh, know, that was good. I, oh, I, I did do. that like you did. He feels much better <laughs> that you like that. Le fou. Uh, <laughs> what is this living, right? Le, le fou. Okay. Um, I. I would love that. I mean, I would love I bet that. Bet you would. I, I, I would love uh, the money. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, forget the art. Forget the art. No, it's uh, about the cash. No, it, it, it is one of those things that every time we get to do uh, a project in this world with this creative team, so cool. it's such a joy. And the music. Yeah. How good is the music yeah. in this sequel? Bobby and yeah. Chris and I. How's it work when you have kids? Because your kids obviously are right. fans. No. <laughs> no, my kids are over me. No. Uh, but what was incredible is when I took them to go see the movie, and I guess it's been out enough now that I can spoil. I can yeah. spoil. Sure. Yeah. I can yeah, it's okay. Cover your ears if you haven't seen yeah. Frozen 2. But the part where Olaf dies. Sure. Olaf dies. <laughs> cover your ears. And I hope you can't read Olaf does not die, yeah. kids. He comes back, but he dies midway <laughs> through the movie. So when, when he goes, my youngest one looked at me, and she goes, and she never gets emotional. She goes... Did Olaf just, and I said, yes, baby, but, and before I could say anything, she at the top of her lungs in this like 1500 person theater goes, oh, Daddy! <laughs> I was so traumatized. Wow. I was like, what have I done? Wow. She'll never recover from this. Wait, that's hilarious. It was so sad. No, it's sad. <laughs> 
Yeah. But it all listed well. <laughs> well, we don't really know that. <laughs> I mean, do we really know? No, she's at home right now with a therapist. It's been a number of weeks, and it's not going well. Uh, how much fun are the four of us going to have at the Olympics? Oh. I've just invited myself oh, to, to host the Olympics. Josh Gad, special yeah. correspondent. Oh, Tokyo. <laughs> By the way, Avenue 5, it premieres this Sunday on yes. HBO. Can you just give us a little Olaf to break? I just... <laughs> just can you do like the voice? Yes. Yes. Sure. Hey, everybody. I'm Olaf. And for no reason at all, I think you should watch HBO this Sunday night. You made Craig so happy. <laughs> you have no idea. You have no idea. I love that Olaf is watching HBO comedies at yeah. 10 p.m. Right. on Sunday Sitting there nights. with a beer. Yeah. Oh, this that is could be the, That could be the spinoff. <laughs> Get up, Olaf. Grown up, Olaf. We'll be right back. We'll be right back.